Welcome to Guns and Chicken Strips. I'm your host James. What's happening? Today we are going to be showing you an instructional video on how to replace a safety plunger for a Glock 21 but all the Glocks are pretty much the same in this aspect. The only thing is Glock 21 because it's 45 and the larger slide is the larger titanium plunger. So we're going to be replacing the factory plunger, stainless steel, with a titanium plunger. Let's get started. All you're going to need for this is a punch or small screwdriver which I have right here and then your Glock make sure it's empty safe and clear take that apart take out the spring and the barrel And that right there is the part we're going to be replacing. First, what you're going to want to do is take this and take this off right here. And the only thing holding that in place is the pressure from the spring right here. So you just take this, depress that, and this should slide right out. There you go take this out then you take your striker out And then this is the extractor and it is held in by the plunger and the plunger is held in by the extractor. So all you got to do is take you your screwdriver or punch, press that down and it should fall right out. See? Perfect. Go ahead and get that out of there. There's your plunger, the old one. I'll show you in the new one. See the difference? The stainless steel one is kind of flat and rigid on top. The titanium one is smooth and rounded. See the difference? And that adds, gives you more accuracy and easier trigger pull. But you're going to be replacing these two. Replacing this one with this one. Again, the stainless steel, factory, rigid and square, titanium, round. So what you want to do, take your spring, put it in your new plunger. Get your slide. Drop that bad boy down in there. Get your extractor. Then depress your plunger. Boom. And that's how that goes. Then get your striker slide it back in there get this slide it back in there and here's the tricky part you get this Put it right there, just kind of wedge it in there. Then you get your pin or uh, push or screwdriver. You press the striker down. 
that that'll slide in there be kind of difficult sometimes and that's halfway then you press with your screwdriver or your push and press this down boom back on there easy sauce and everything should be good to go on that and like I said and that and real quickly I'll show you how a Glock kinda works that's how it's safe is that's why a Glock is so safe because when you drop it it cannot go off because that plunger is part of the safety system the if you see in there the firing pin will not poke out of that hole right there until this plunger is pushed down right here until that's pushed down and when you pull the trigger this right here is what presses down up on that plunger and makes it safe for the thing going down for example see press it down on this and I'll push forward see I'm pushing forward it's not moving press it down see come out press it back pushing forward won't come out press it down comes out see boom 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 no trigger can't do nothing that's what presses down that's one of the safety precautions on a Glock unless that's pressed down it cannot fire but once you press it down boom 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 but without that no fire and again that is what presses down on the plunger and then you just put your Glock back together slide the barrel back in there Oh yeah, I can definitely tell a difference in the grit in the trigger pull. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. And guess where I learned how to do that? YouTube. Like I said, the before, I'm going to explain the reasoning behind why you want to replace your regular factory stainless steel plunger with a titanium plunger, because factory one. It's flat on top and he's got that edge the titanium one like I showed you in the video has a rounded edge and it's just a lot smoother a lot more clean it adds for a lot better trigger pull smoothness of the trigger slight difference but if you fired the gun a bunch you can definitely tell the difference like I can definitely tell the difference in that a lot smoother a lot cleaner it'll improve your accuracy and your speed remember always practice the fundamentals I hope you enjoyed that episode hope it was informational if you got anything else you would like to see leave it in the comments and I would be happy to do it for you thanks for watching guns and chicken strips and we'll see you tomorrow Now, if you made it this far into the video, you are a special kind of awesome dude. And you must love guns. So, I'm going to let you stare at this beautiful scar. Heavy 308. And enjoy to some sexy music. Yeah, yeah. Just wanna touch her.